Hey, fitness family, it's Enrico Fiorinelli, your fitness sensei. So for today, I wanna break down some different pull movements for you. I'm gonna take you through five movements to activate your rhomboids, your upper traps, as well as your latissimus dorsi. And by working these muscles, what we're going to do is we're gonna work on correcting your posture and pulling your shoulders down and back. By pulling your shoulders down and back, this is going to fix what is commonly referred to as double cross syndrome, where our shoulders pull forward as well as help correct our posture. These movements and building up those that musculature will help alleviate your upper back and neck pain. I hope you all enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and share. So for our first exercise, what we're gonna do is what's called a uh, supernated uh, bent over up. So that means that our palms are gonna be facing out. Yeah, yeah. We hinge at our waist. And Man, we pull up, just we see that mid back. Tell me so we come down. One. Yeah. And pull up, yeah. really emphasizing that upper back. SEC. As we go through this movement. How we coming? Now from the front, uh, again, you see. Man, this girl's just a genius. genius. Can't lie, she's a genius. So not only when I feel those up, but when we get back. So now for our second movement, we're actually sticking in that same position. So we're here, we start off with our pinkies towards each other, our palms are facing out, and we're going to open up. So it's super neat to reverse fly, it's really going to activate your lower chest. So this is here, and over. Now, I keep a slight bend in my elbows, I keep the tension off of the joint. The as I go through the move. This exercise, this manipulation of an exercise, is a great way to activate those muscles just slightly differently than you're used to. Now for our next exercise, we're going to do a dumbbell pull. So we're going to go right to the ground. We pick the dumbbells up. Now I'm going to keep my hands pretty separate today. As I go from my thigh, I bring it all the way back and all the way forward. So now, as you can see, from on top, I'm going to start out at my thighs, and I pick it all the way open, and all the way back. Agility, amazing adaptability, so well, awesome, what an absolute capability. I'm going to be special, 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 I'm the lady the know is the likelihood of life lot is lost for the lazy the for the lies 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 War, war never changes. Yeah, Look at the history oh, books torn out pages. Cause when the dust settles on the war, you'll be glad we told you what to do with Fallout 4. You're special. You're special. Look at your special. The more dynamic we're So we stagger our stance out. We start out with our palms facing our back leg. And as we bring it in, we rotate and bring it back to that locked in position. So down, and we rotate it in. Now from the front, you can see, I start down, my palm faces down. I see it stay in a nice staggered position. My upper body doesn't move, my shoulder stays back as I bring it in. All right, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed those five exercises. Now, if you were to do them as an entire workout, doing them for three to five sets of eight to 15 repetitions, depending on exactly what cadence you're following, will give you a killer back workout and help emphasize all those underappreciated muscles that you don't typically get. It, what I love is to be able to build us up, burn the fat, build the muscle, while still working through the corrections that our body needs. My name is Enrico Fiorinelli, Fitness Sensei. I'm gonna pop up a video somewhere over this way or this way, and on the other side, you'll see a subscribe button. If you're liking this, this video, if you like the content, make sure that you do both. I'll catch you later. Peace out.